So today I decided to work on my support pieces under the trailer and I have to say this liquid rubber stuff works really really well and I'm hoping it's uh, going to stand the test of time. So the back of the trailer had that 2x4 along the back of it because there's not really a good trailer support built in. So there was already a piece um, and a mounting uh, set of hardware with bolts, through bolts for it. So the piece was kind of rotting, so I decided to replace it with a, a newer 2x4. And this 2x6 here is actually an additional piece that I'm going to put at the front of the trailer. And I'm basically using a couple of uh, deck mounting brackets for it uh, at the beginning and end of it. And then I'm going to screw, um, screw it into the floor itself as additional support. So I've treated both of these with this liquid rubber. So hopefully it won't, uh, the, the elements won't have too much of an impact on them and that's what I was going for. So next I'm going to actually take you under the trailer and show you what it looks like from down below. So let's go take a look. Before I take you under the trailer, I kind of wanted to bring you inside to show you where those support pieces are going to be. And basically the two by four is going to run down the middle of the length of this because there really isn't good trailer support uh, for the flooring back there. And then the front of the trailer kind of has the same problem. Basically, this whole area doesn't have any middle support. So rather than running it this way, I'm going to put a piece basically right, right about here from the front to the back of the trailer. And that's what the 2x6 is going to be for because I just kind of wanted some additional support under the trailer in that area. So let's go take a look under the trailer. Here we are under the trailer and I just wanted to show you how I attached the pieces of plywood to the trailer itself. Um, initially, basically the uh, one sheet when it was manufactured just had some adhesive attaching the floor to the frame itself and uh, a couple of heavy duty L brackets at the front of the trailer and at the back of the trailer. So I kind of had to come up with something different since I was putting six pieces in after the fact. And what I've done is I've attached each of the pieces to the next with multiple uh, plate brackets like this. So each of the pieces are attached to the other, um, to the one next to it. And then each of the pieces are also attached to the frame itself in multiple uh, areas. So I have multiple points of contact both between the sheets of plywood next to each other and each of the sheets of plywood to the actual frame. So I've used many of these uh, plates and L brackets to actually attach the wood pieces the plywood pieces to the frame itself. So I do have multiple points of contact. Um, you'll notice that the uh, the floor is a little bit shiny underneath. It's just the reflection from the flash. This is actual uh, liquid rubber coating that I've treated the underside of my plywood pieces with. I was looking for durability and something that would stand uh, withstand the elements hopefully for a good long time. I'm also going to put uh, rubber like flex tape between the seams here um, of my pieces of wood uh, to add additional uh, an, an additional barrier from the elements so it doesn't come seeping through the inside. So that's about it. Um, this is the underside of the trailer. Also, while I was here and had the, uh, the trailer frame exposed, I did um, sand any rust off of it that I could find and put a uh, rust reformer on it. The only, I was able to get to three sides, but the last part to finish would be the fourth side of the actual frame itself. So I will uh, sand that down and protect it as well. So that's what's going on underneath my trailer and uh, as a result of the replacing of the whole floor. So until next time, enjoy.